I'm going to talk to you about what I would take on the hills with me in summer conditions in the UK. I'd start off with a pretty light uh, rucksack that's uh, probably no more than 35 litres. Uh, and just a little bit of prepping before I would go onto the hills. I might want to um, get rid of what, co what it comes with in, in the back, so this foam bit, because I can replace it with a slightly more useful bit of foam that I can then use for um, emergency purposes. So what I might want to do is I might want to replace it with a pre-made uh, section of carry mat that I've cut and it folds neatly into three sections so that I can then use that as my back support for the rucksack. And that's something that you can do at home. Uh, the other way to do it is you might just want to leave this inside and add a couple of other bits to it rather than take it out but I've already made this one so it fits in quite nicely and of course should there be an emergency I can use this as a bit of insulation against the ground or to keep warm so it's quite handy to have insulation of that description the other thing I'd have would be a waterproof bag that I put in right at the bottom and in there I'm gonna have a Top, a really warm top, synthetic ideally in the UK. You don't really want to have any down or feather stuff because it, as, it, as soon as it gets wet, it's useless. But a nice thick hooded top that I've just kind of folded in so that it goes into its hood like this. And then it goes right at the bottom of my rucksack. I'm not expecting to use it, but if, I, if it gets cold and windy, that's what I'll be taking out. I've also got a spare hat, balaclava, and some nice warm gloves. They'll keep me nice and warm. And then I can just close up the, um, the bag. I'll also add a, a short rope, uh, which has already been pre-packed at home. So this is the sort of thing that you can buy from a shop. It's a little walking uh, rope. Uh, about nine mil, about 25 meters long, and it's the sort of thing that you might want to use if you know how to use it. And we'll run through that on a, on a separate video. I'm just going to put that in down one of the sides, so I'll make a little bit of room for that, so that I can, if I need to, have the end of it easily accessible. At the bottom as well, I'm gonna put in my group shelter. So this is a really important piece of equipment. Again, looking at the extremes of weather that we might encounter. So this is another layer that will stop the wind from uh, affecting me and the rest of my group. They, they come in different sizes. If it's just myself and a friend going out on the hills, you can have a small two person one. And they sell them in much bigger sizes, up to 12 people. But it's always worth carrying this. Definitely a, a piece of life-saving equipment. So I'll put that right at the bottom as well, push it all the way in. I've got my own little mini first aid kit. Uh, in it, uh, the most important thing to, to think about is having a piece of paper, laminated paper with a pen that I can write on so that I can record anything that's happened. And of course, I also carry attached to it a whistle because if I get lost or if I need help, It'll be very hard for me to shout for a long time, but I can always blow a whistle for a long period of time. Okay, So that's something that I always carry with me as well. What else? I'm going to add in a little bit more emergency equipment. These are the survival bags made by Blizzard. They are absolutely fantastic. They, they this is in particular, this is a sleeping bag and you can wrap yourself in it like a little cocoon and again, this keeps you nice and warm. So I'm carrying one of these as well on the hills nowadays, every day. So that goes in. I tuck that in at the back of the rucksack to give it a little bit of, of shape. Next in, it's not a particularly bad forecast for today. So I am still going to take my waterproofs, but only because they are also good windproofs and the wind could increase and I could get quite cold from the wind. So I'm putting in a pair of waterproof trousers and my waterproof jacket. Again, just like the other jacket, I've rolled it into the lid, the, the hood of the jacket, and it just makes it nice and tidy so that I can just 
fit it in. So that's quite close to the top because it's one of the first things I might need to take out should the weather change. I'm also going to um, include uh, some water in there. You can see from my water bottle I've <clears throat> wrapped some gaffer tape around it. This is incredibly useful in any emergency and a good way to store it that's easily accessible. I'll also have a little bit in my first aid kit but this one is so that I can access it quickly and any minor repairs I can do straight away from here. It's a good way to store it in the water bottle. Notice how I don't have the water bottle full of water. I, I go and replenish the water from the streams as I travel through the hills because I'm quite used to doing that. Uh, if, you're not, if you're not used to replenishing water from streams, then it, just be aware that it comes with certain kind of potential health risks. But um, so far I've been quite lucky and nothing's happened or maybe just my guts are just quite used to it by now. Okay, so that goes in as well. Um, and of course I'll have something to eat. Uh, in here and I've got my nibbles so my nibbles I want accessible so I might put them in in these side pockets here or if I've got a jacket with a pocket I might put it in the pocket there so I can always have something that I can nibble on and my main food which I'd recommend taking things like nuts and dried fruits and um, oat cakes as well and uh, maybe flapjack so things that are going to release energy steadily and slowly throughout the day so they keep you going and always have a nibble every couple of hours don't don't wait till you're hungry because then it's a little bit too late okay so that's going to go in there as well and that's pretty much everything that's going to go in the main part of the rucksack now other bits that i'm going to carry will be um the map and the compass okay so the compass i might want to keep quite handy so i'll probably put it in the other pocket here so that it's there really handy the map again i want quite handy as well i'll carry a 1 to 25 and a cut down version of the 1 to 50 so that if one of them flies out i've got the other one in my hand because it can get ripped out of your hand if, uh, if the wind's really strong. So I'll carry those there as well. So those are my maps. I'll carry my phone in its little pouch, waterproof pouch, absolutely essential, with a bit of Velcro at the top so that I can, it, uh, so I can use it and it doesn't get wet in, in, the, in bad weather. So that goes in the top lid together with my he main head torch. And rather than carry spare batteries, I've got my emergency head torch, which is a little mini um, one, but actually really bright for when you need it. So if this one, if my main head torch fails, I've got this one ready to go. I don't have to faff around with changing batteries when it's windy and wet and my hands are cold. That's really useful. And I'll have a, a pen knife, which I might just keep in here, something handy in case I need to cut anything. And of course I might have a, a GPS with me should I need it on the hills, but mostly it will be it won't be turned on. Other things I, I'll carry will be um, a screw gate and a carab and a sling, screw gate carabiner and sling, and I might use that in, co in conjunction with a rope, but I'm not expecting to use it. So I'll just put that on the side of the, the rucksack as well, together with a, uh, a pair of gloves that I'll use if I'm taking out the rope. And this pen here goes up here should I need to use it with the map and compass and finally the last thing uh, I'll probably put in my rucksack or on, on the strap on the side might be a pole uh, which might be a very useful thing to have uh, for many purposes not only does it help you as you're walking up or down the hills but it, it can also be used as a splint in case of an emergency so we're looking for things that we can use in several different ways when we take them out on the hill. So we're not um, carrying things that are, just have one use. And that way you're not doubling up on, on a lot of things. So that might just go in here until I'm ready to use it. It'll probably come out as soon as I, I'm ready to go. Um, finally, I suppose is to kind of check how much this rucksack would weigh. So I've got a handy little scale here and I'll just clip it here at the back 
and uh, lift it up to see. Okay, so this rucksack for a day weighs seven kilograms. <laughs>